Hey, I'm Jeff Bounds and I'm the head of retail with Grant Cardone Enterprises. And my name is Steve Spray, Director of Sales. And we got an important message for you guys today. We're having an emergency webinar August 15th on how to become a master at phone skills and communication. As you see behind us here, this is the house that Grant Cardone built purely by leveraging the phone. Follow me. So we want to give you guys a little sneak peek here inside of Cardone Enterprises and let you see how important the phone is to our organization. So here's a sneak peek inside 10X headquarters here. And what you see behind us, the phone is not just for sales. This is our customer service operation here at Cardone Enterprises. And every single day, our business is le leveraged by being a master on the phone. So take a walk. So guys, in here we have over 20 people on the phones making sales. They're doing cold calls, warm calls. We're doing calls that we're getting in front of the hardest people to sell in the world. If I could put an extra million dollars into your business this year, what would that do for you guys? Uh, he hung up. Let me show you exactly what our sales team's doing right now. They're on the phones. They're working deals. We're going to teach you exactly how we set up a call. This is my guy, Jared, right here. He's working with a guy right now. He's got a coach next to him. We're going to teach you every single thing that you need to do, say, how to pitch via a video presentation. If your sales has changed and now you've got to sell more online, if you've got to sell through virtual video, that is going to be something that is new to you and we're going to teach you the best practices and how to sell millions of dollars through the phones. And then of course you got Grant Cardone every day that's coming to you from this smartphone in about eight to ten minutes to help your people with the hardest parts of their job. Whether it's closing deals, whether it's following up, whether it's handling objections. Does that make sense? And we want to invite you to join us on August 15th for a live webinar on phone skills and communication. As you see behind us here, this is 10X headquarters. This is the classroom that we have here. And we were gonna have an event here in August on phone skills and communication mastery. But obviously with everything going on right now in the world, we wanted to make sure that there was no question that we can get this information to you because I think you would agree over the past three or four months, the whole world has had to pivot through COVID-19. And I gotta tell you right now more than ever, Phone skills mastery and knowing how to communicate with your customers is essential to being able to move forward into 2020 and into 21, 2021 and being able to maximize your sales. So look, I invite you to join us August 15th at noon. We're going to be dropping so much value, so much knowledge to you in this webinar. I promise you'll be one thing you don't want to miss. Join us then. Welcome, it's Friday, that means Cardone Zone, and I'm here to talk to you about your money, your finances, your profession, your career, where you going, what you doing. Today we're gonna to be talking about how to set million dollar goals. I was reminded this morning, <clears throat> after sending out, uh, I think the number exactly was, $1,265,000 in distributions this month. I might be off by 20 grand. 1.2 million. I was talking to Johnny, the camera guy. Johnny, good to see you, buddy. And Johnny said to me, I said, Johnny, you understand we were making this video about our distributions at Cardone Capital. And I said, and he's like, man, you must be making a lot of money if you sent $1.2 million. I said, no, Johnny, we didn't make any money off the 1.2. We collect money from the cash flow of the properties. And up to a point, we distribute the full amount out to the investors. Now, to the degree that I'm an investor in that deal, I get a piece of that. Like whatever my piece is of that, I get that distribution. If you were invested, you would have got that distribution. The reason I'm telling you about that today is because this used to be a goal of mine to make $1 million a year. That was my goal when I was 35 years old. One day, I said to myself, one day, I said, self, little G-dog, Little G-Dog, one day, young man, I wrote this over and over and over again. I'd talk to myself in the mirror. I'd sit on the toilet and say, one day, one day, uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make a million dollars. One day, one day. And people used to tell me, that's crazy, dude. Like, why do you think so big? This is when people were telling me not to. They're like, why, why do you need to do all that? Why do you, just be happy. Just be a good person, okay? Be happy that you live in America. Be happy that you have meals and be happy you got good health and all the things that the people around you that quit on money, that quit on financial freedom, that quit on possibility, that quit on their potential, all the things those people will tell you. 
to try to convince you to quit. When in reality, what they're really trying to do is make sense of why they quit. Note to self. Okay? Last month, I distributed $1.2 million to other people. Okay? It's not money I made. It's money I sent out. So it just goes to show you how small I was thinking when I was 35 years old. If you are anything like me at all, the good, the bad, the ugly, okay? You like me, you don't like me, whatever the deal is, okay? We love you. Francisco loves me, okay? But some people don't know whether they like me or hate me, okay? Here's the reality. Whatever you see in me, the good or the bad, is in you. It's all there, dude. The only reason you see it in me is because it's in you. I am a reflector. Yeah. Bing. Okay, check it out. When I was 35 years old, I'm trying to make a million dollars a year. Okay, how do I do the math? That's $80,000 a month. Okay, almost gets me there. That's $20,000 a week. I have done this math. I was doing it this morning. I could show you my notepad right now. I'm building a $10 billion business right now. Okay, it's right here on the notepad. Okay, $10 billion. How many millionaires will I make that'll be working for me if I build a $10 billion business? I'm mapping out how to pay out bonuses to people if I can hit that number, so, right? So this is $20,000 a week. That's uh, 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 3,000, 3,800. Can y'all do the math on this? I think it's 3,800 bucks a day. Okay, it all because starts becoming real, man. I got 24 hours in a day. I only work 12 of them. So, you know, maybe I can work 24. I'll figure out how to work 24. And then how much is that an hour? How much is uh, 20 grand divided by 30 days? 38, 33 or something? Divided by 30 days? Yeah. $666. What? 20 grand, a, 20 grand a week divided by seven. Yeah, come on, man. Get your game on. Two eight five seven two eight five seven a day. I know, my bad. Two eight five seven divided by twenty four. There are twenty four hours in a day. Actually, there's more than twenty four. It's one hundred nineteen dollars an hour, man. Look, I know people that get give a bad masseuse a bad a massage. Okay, no happy ending, and they earn one nineteen an hour. Let's keep it real. I know babysitters that can earn that much money from rich people. I know Bellman, uh, not Bellman, but the guys that parked the expensive cars in Miami that are doing $119 in an hour. Like you guys just, I know photographers that make $100 an hour. Maybe more than $100 an hour. Copywriters that make more than $100 an hour. So there's your million dollars. The problem is you're thinking too small, okay? So whether the number's $1 million, $1 billion, is that one billion? Yeah. Okay. Whatever the number is, you just do the math. You got to do the math on the deal, right? You got to do the math on the deal. Then you got to ask yourself, is the opportunity, this is where it gets really juicy, where is the opportunity, whether it's this, the one million, or the one billion, or whatever the number is, is the opportunity worth doing whatever it takes? And whatever it takes doesn't mean you rob somebody, by the way. The people, the people that rob somebody, kill somebody, rip somebody off, they're not doing whatever it takes. That's why they took the shortcut. Whatever it takes means you wouldn't break the law. You wouldn't hurt anybody. Everybody would be better off. It would take tremendous creativity to see, you know what, I'm going to benefit and I'm going to benefit of a, a lot of other people. Okay, keep in mind, last month I distributed $1,265,000 to our investors, to other people. These checks went out. If you got one, please let us know, okay? Some of these checks, God damn it, some of these checks were $35 and some of them were 14 grand. Okay, this guy right here says, man, 35 is only $35. The guy that got the check was happy as a freaking, like, what, what, what would really happy be? A kid on Christmas Day. Kid on Christmas Day. He was like, dude, that's the first money I've ever earned. Okay, I invested with you in January. Uh, I'm sorry, January, he's like in, in February, March, and this month. Is, are we in April right now? Yeah. I got a check for $35. Tick, just happy as a damn pig in mud. Some dude saw it on the internet and said, it's only $35. Dude, all drips start with something. By the way, I would rather earn $35 on passive income than make $350 
selling my time. Listen to me, I would rather earn $35 because it's a drip, it's a drip. Now, I'm proud because I was able to send these checks out to all these people that know me. These aren't people giving me money, okay? These people invested money with me. Remember, this is Grant Cardone. 25 years ago, I was like, I wanna make a million dollars a year. I want to make a million dollars a year. I want to make a million dollars a year. Okay, I would do. Every, I'm traveling all over the place to make a million dollars a year. This month, I paid out 1.2 million dollars. What did I do? All I did was change my goals throughout the years. I added a zero, and then I add people. People are always involved. People are always involved in the opportunity to reach your goals, okay? You're not going to reach your goals without people being involved. It is impossible to attain any goal on this planet without saying, I need to take care of these people. I need these people to feel good about me. For 35 years, I have been building relationships with these people. Confidence in others and mostly confidence in myself to go out and say, I can buy a piece of property I trust, myself to just, I trust myself to pick the right piece of property, to manage that piece of property correctly, to manage my money correctly, so I'm not some Bernie Madoff die in prison dude, okay, that people talk about for the rest of their lives. I want to be a good guy. I know you guys want to be a good guy. You're in the Cardone Zone. My number's 305-865-8668, 305-865-8668. Today's message, what is the opportunity in front of you? Is it big enough to warrant you doing whatever it takes? If it's not, if it's not a game changer, okay? See, these people right here, the guy invests $5,000. He's got $5,000 in the bank. Another guy's got 50 grand in the bank. And another guy's got $500,000, okay? All three of these people invested money with me. This is Cliff, this is Dave, and this is Jennifer, okay? Cliff sent me five grand. Dude, it was his last five grand. It was as hard for him to do this as this guy to do that. Do you understand? Okay. This guy earns, I don't know, he's going to earn 300 bucks a year. This guy's going to earn $3,000 a year. This guy's going to earn $30,000 a year. But they all had to start with this. They all start with $5,000. Everybody starts with $5,000, including Jennifer right here. She's got a five, just another zero. All of them had to make a decision. Should I keep the money? This is where the opportunity comes in. You got to think in terms of opportunity costs, okay? Is my money better in the bank or is my money better in an asset that, add, that, that, that can grow over time, okay? Do I buy a watch? Okay, do I buy something stupid? It is beautiful, but it's stupid. Let's keep it real. Stupid is as stupid does and that ladies and gentlemen is stupid paddock okay however the reason the, the way i bought the paddock was because the real estate that i buy not this real estate okay i already distributed to these people the real estate i invested in sent me a little check check I happen to have more than 500 grand invested in that property, okay? So if I got 5 million invested in the deal, 5 million based on what everybody else got paid, I would earn what? A month. Is that right? Okay. So you know what? I can waste. I can be like, yeah, that's kind of stupid. I'm sitting there with Kayla. I'm like, should I buy the watch? Should I buy the watch? Should I buy the watch? I know it's stupid. It's crazy. I'm not buying the watch. This ain't, this isn't Grant 35, at 35 years old wanting to become a millionaire, right? That's what all these rappers are doing and ball players are doing. These guys make it $5 million a year buying $300,000 watches. Dude, I'm 60 years old. I have a billion dollars of real estate producing cash flow every month. I had to take my money, my cash, just like you do. I had to take my cash that I worked my ass off for and say, I'm going to move the cash over here, get it out of the bank, and I'm going to move it over here into this deal. I'm going to cross my fingers just like you have to. Just like these three people had to. I'm going to cross my fingers, hope I did the right thing. And whether it's five grand, 50 grand, or $500,000, these people get distributed money every month, okay? You got to decide. What are you going to do to get your financial freedom, folks? What are you willing to do? Is the opportunity big enough? Will it change your life? Trust me, when this becomes 40 grand, and then it goes to 50 grand, and then it goes to 60 grand, and when Jennifer, I called Jennifer one day, Jennifer, I'm sending your 500 back. What do you mean, Grant? I refinance the property. Everybody's getting their money back. 
and you're going to keep getting cash flow, even though the cash flow will go down now. It's going to go down because she doesn't have any money invested. It might even go down to this, like 10,000, okay? But now she doesn't have any money. She got her 500 grand back, no taxes due on that. It's crazy, dude. You guys got to start thinking big. I'm telling you, man, it's Friday. What do we do on Fridays? Even when it's Passover, I come over. Whether you're on the YouTube or the Facebook or you're on the Jammy Gram, post a damn comment because we give money away for people that does the right kind of comments. Let's talk to our callers. All right, we got Shafir in Boston. My man from Bostonian, dude, what are you doing to set your hey, goals man. big enough, brother? What's going on? Hey, man, uh, let me just first commend you and just acknowledge all the information that you give us. Um, it's phenomenal. And, um, you know, I know your um, the uh, topic of the show today is um, to set goals to become a millionaire, and I believe that you need a plan to do that. Um, so I, I currently have $50,000 invested in Cardone Capital. Oh, good. Did you get a check um, last month? And I, sorry, what was that? Uh, uh, did you get a check last month? I did, absolutely, $200. Oh, beautiful, dude. Not a big deal. Yep. What are you going to do with the 200? Yeah. So I'm going to, I'm going to save it and probably reinvest it. Yeah. Um, so that's, that's where my little dilemma here comes in. Okay. I actually have $70,000 left over. Um, and I'm, I'm wanting to know, should I put that into Cardone Capital or buy a deal on my own? And being, you know, in the market that I am, it's very tough right now. Um, as you know, up here, the prices are, you know, you got the winter, which I know you don't like. <laughs> yeah, well, and, you, uh, yeah. what's the first name again? Sphere. Sphere. You, look, you, you can buy, uh, you're in Boston, right? Yes. So what you'll be able to buy in Boston, if you go like 20 miles outside of Boston, you'll be able to buy one unit. Absolutely. And it's something I wouldn't even want anyway, right? It's, it's yeah. one unit and it needs work, you know? Yeah, yeah. You'll, ne you'll, nev you'll make more money investing your money with me than you will ever make on your own. I promise you. Yeah, Like, like I can, and, I can and guarantee I you, with that. I can yeah. personally guarantee you, if you show me a deal that you can make more money on with 70 grand than you can make investing with me, I'll buy the deal for you and give it to you as a gift. So I also have a partner, um, you know, he owns... Uh, to uh, barber shops, and he would be willing to match my 70k. Yeah. So, so I mean, 140 grand still is not gonna. Yeah. So get now it you're done, gonna right? buy two two units, and they need to be fixed. Okay. So 140 thousand dollars. You guys. I mean, you could do this. You could put your 140 together. You could buy three times that. You could buy 520. And now you need to go get a loan. How's your credit? Uh, very good. 750. Good. Right so you, you can get a loan on this. The, the, your, your buddy will probably be able to get a loan on it. And then you guys yep. sign on the loan, put the 140 down, finance 380. Okay. Finance the 380 for, for like 30 years. They're probably not going to give you 30 years though, because it's a small deal. They're probably going to give you more like 20 years. And, and right. then, and then you got to rent them. What, what's your main job? <clears throat> Yeah, so I'm an engineer in a medical device company. So I, you know, I have a full time job. He has a full time job, right? So yeah. So um, it'd be tough, you know, and we're, and we're going to have to buy out of our, you know, vicinity. So you know, I'm going to have to. Somebody's got to go collect the rents. You know, somebody got so so. Look, there, there's your debt. There's your debt on 380. So, um, and and look, I mean, somebody would say, well, wait a minute, and he. He's buying two units. They got $140,000. They could actually buy a $1,400,000 deal and put less money down. The problem with that, because he could probably get this loan and say he's going to live there. Okay? It's his residence. He put one forty dollars down. The problem with that now is he's financing $1 million that's going to cost $60,000 a year, and he's only got two units. And the two units will only rent for so much money. Like It's, it's like... It's like, I got two calculators. It's like Gary, Gary Vaynerchuk talks about flipping stuff on eBay. But, dude, can you do it every day? Or flipping stuff on Amazon. Can you do it every day? And can you do it in scales big enough that it matters? Right? I got a lawnmower. I'm going to sell my lawnmower. How many lawnmowers you got? Oh, I could do this forever. Yeah, but how much you making? And he's an engineer. He's already making great That's money. So, so, so this is passive income you're getting from me. See, I would rather personally not sign on the debt earn $200 a month, it takes none of your energy, you throw your 70 grand with it, the 70 grand is going to earn you probably 4,200 bucks a year, is what I'll be able to distribute to you within 12 months, 
So you're going to now your 200 goes to about 600 bucks a month, and you're on your way to creating that second stream toward financial freedom. Okay. Thanks for the call, man. Appreciate you. Okay. Great. Jeff, the entrepreneur in Connecticut. We get so many calls from the Northeast. What's going on, buddy? Hey, what up, Grant? You know me, right? Yeah, I know you, Jeff. Come on, man. Yeah, I know. See, that's what, that's what everybody needs to do. You need to get known, right? And you taught me this, Grant. Mm -hmm. So I'm glad you're talking millionaire goal. You want, so the idea, the dream, not the dream, you know the dream already, you remember, um, is to actually be in the diamond seats. For the next 10 and growth con anybody right now listening if you don't have card on you or uh aren't planning on going to the next growth conference go it will change your life dude the one thing you know how you said you got to change something today you know what i changed uh, are you there you change your underwear dude i changed i changed my job i went from being a teacher to all in on sales i'm selling doors and window for this great guy JC Tanati, who knows you, he did 2.7 million last year in sales. I want him to do him 10 million, and I'm already talking ways to scale it for him. I bought an Instagram growth company that I'm going to help work on his company. I'm going to go all in on his company and 10 exit, and hopefully, uh, hopefully I can get him to come down to the growth con with me. You know? Yeah, bro. Well, I'm going to tell you nice something. Deal. You're going to help a lot more people it, uh, being a salesman making 10 million dollars a year than a teacher making 60 grand. Exactly. And that's it. Even my students told me that, Grant. They yes. were like, Even the students are like, please get out of here. This is stupid what you're doing. The information you pass on to is stupid. The classroom's stupid. The desks are stupid. The freaking one hour that's really 50 minutes is stupid. The school's stupid. Like, everything about this deal is stupid. Like, it reeks of stupidity. Grant, let's, we're going to change the education system. Either that or we're going to homeschool our kids. Yeah, dude, just, uh, just, you don't need to change. The, you're never going to change the education system. They just need to oh, put a bullet Grant, in its head. Tell, you tell me Cut out! Do it and I'm going to do it. Okay, I'm there is no it. reason for a kid to go sit in a classroom, except that the parents don't want the kids to be at home with them. It's the only reason for schools in this country, okay, is the government makes a bunch of money off the schools. Hey, I'm going to show them this. In the classroom, I'm going to show them the replay of this video. Anything you want to say to my students here for months? I'm teaching. Little my mother, hurry up and finish your goddamn, finish your homework and get the f out of school. Go do something for a living, man. Goddamn, mow a lawn, plant some flowers, yeah. okay? Sell some lemonade, become a drug dealer. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay, great. Most of them are. That's how they're making more of their money right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah just kidding hit, on the drug dealer uh, thing. Okay? I think I'm hit a million. By the way, if you're going to do that, don't use, don't use your your inventory. Okay, yep. just kidding on that. Y'all know I'm kidding on that. Yeah, okay. Okay, I love you, man. I, I like, love you, dude. I love you. Good luck to you, all right? Okay, he's a diamond. He's a diamond. He's card on you. Here's a guy that went from being a teacher, couldn't talk to anybody, teaching kids to making money. Okay, these are real people, folks. Y'all hear me clown around here on the shows and everything, have fun, say crazy stuff. But look, when people start digging into our books, card on university, investing, like there's a billion, multi-billion dollar real estate portfolio that I'm going to build over here. Ten billion dollars is, is the target. Ten billion dollars. And I come to you on Fridays. Ain't nobody else doing this, man, playing this kind of game at this level. Coming to you, jacking around with you on a Friday. And I'm here to just show you, like, you don't have to be some tight, tied up, you know, guy, like, you don't have to be Mr. Belvedere, okay? And, and somebody asked me the, the other day, hey, what kind of suit should I buy? Just, just something that looks good, man. You, you don't have to, you know, you're not going to impress anybody with, like, your clothes are not going to be so impressive. Your car is not going to be so impressive. Your watch, no matter what it is, is not going to impress somebody more than whatever your offer is. Your offer is what they're going to pay for, not your watch. Next one. Austin in the PA, bro. What's happening, man? Opioids going hey, crazy. Hey, thanks for taking my call today. Um, just want to say, start off by saying thank you for the podcasts and the, the uh, streams you do, um, as well as the books, the programs. Uh, I've been following you for a few months now. I've read a bunch of your, your books, 10X. I try to operate at 10X level every day, giving your what's out what's to it? multiple different people to try to get them on board with it as well. And I'm just trying to be a millionaire at this point. Uh, Dude, just keep doing the math, like bro. Just, hey, just keep doing the math. Remember, with any opportunity, Austin, with any opportunity, you just got to keep your mind on yourself of the opportunity. See, this is the problem right, I had as a, as a young salesman, dude. I, I was like, 
okay, I'm going to make 80 grand a year. It isn't worth it. Like, like, like if I make 80 grand a year as a salesman, I'm making $7,000 a month and I live in Miami, you're not going to do, it changes nothing. The opportunity has to change your life significantly enough that you're willing to read, study, dive in, right? You add a zero to that right there. You add a zero to that 80. Now I'm willing to learn. Every human being is like this, by the way. Every human being on this planet. Maybe I'm wrong. Tell me if I'm wrong. Comment, please. I add a zero to that. You're going to do stuff that you wouldn't have done just a moment ago, okay? If I can show you how to, how, how to go from 80,000 to 800,000, all of a sudden your creativity, you're like, I think I just met Van Gogh. God damn, I got some Madonna coming out of my butt. Okay? <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. I got music in my head. Like, like, ding, 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 ding. you like, you, because why, man? Because yeah, maybe the glass underneath my feet don't hurt so bad. Right? Because why? Because the goal is big enough. Most people do not have goals that will change their lives. Therefore, they cannot lean into the opportunity hard enough. For those of you who own businesses, you need to create rings in your business. Okay? So that Natalie can see, hey man, I can go outside this. These, I can go outside these rings and there's more opportunity out here for financial freedom. Or she stays right here and she doesn't resent me. She resents her. Because I keep throwing them out here. I'm like, hey, there's a $20,000 product you can sell right here. There's a $5,000 product you can get benefit from here. Oh, by the way, there's a million dollars out here if you want to. I, I got employees. I guarantee I will make Jared Glant. Jared Glant will be worth tens of millions of dollars. People in the organization are going to get to see Jared. Watch his life change over the next five to ten years. Ryan Seco. Perfect guy. Guy gets a check for $1.2 million three years after working with me. See, he goes, he starts re reaching out to the rings. See, see, Ryan sees me living out here in this $10 billion. He's like, dude, we're talking about another planet now. I mean, he changes that. I can't build something big and not need people. I have to have people. I become more and more dependent upon great people, loyal people, uh, uh, competent people as I get bigger. So that's what you're really looking for. Opportunity. Will it change my life? When you go work for a company, when you guys make a, 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 a career change, go work for somebody that has opportunity that can change lives. Don't, don't go where you're good at a job. It doesn't matter if you're good at a job. Go where there's a vehicle that can take you on a journey. You know, the, the, you, guys, you guys leave this environment right now. You're going to go to some job. You're not going to get this every day. You're not going to hear this every day. You're not going to get the stimulation, the like, oh, what am I doing? And, but we all need this every day. I need it every day, man. I gotta, every day I got to be like, what's the opportunity, man? I got to wake up every day. What's the opportunity, man? Huh? I got two picks up in my eyelids. I'm like, what is it? What's the opportunity, man? Huh? What is the opportunity? What is the opportunity? Where is the opportunity? And it looks good. <laughs> and dude, I want to be able to have so much opportunity to do so much crazy stuff that I can act like an idiot. Like, like I'm doing deals. We, 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 we signed a $140 million deal yesterday. $140 million, okay? And, and everybody that I'm doing the deal with knows I'm, I have the capacity to be a whack, total crazy man. Some people won't do business with me because of who I am, because I'm transparent about who I am. Okay, uh, my name's Grant Cardone. Hopefully you guys know that already. If you're watching the YouTube channel, please post a comment. I want to give $100 to my man, Kevin Escobar, who posted. He's Pablo's nephew. <laughs> Kevin Escobar, you need money. I know you do. Uh, knowledge, confidence, motivation, action leads to results. Thank you for your... Your, your comment, actually he said commit, knowledge, confidence, motivation, action leads to results. Results are waiting for you. Okay? You will get results, folks, when you're using the right information. You're not using the right information, you're going to get results here too. Okay? I put in the computer, 5 times 6, it will say 30 every time. 
If you're not getting the right answers in life, it's because you're putting the wrong data into the calculator. Or your calculator's fucked up. Okay? It should be sending you the ERR message, but instead it's giving you an answer. Maybe there's something jack. Maybe there's something jack. Maybe you got the wrong data. Mommy, mommy influenced you. Daddy influenced you. Sister influenced you. Man, I got two sisters, man. All they were worried about was me, you know, you not getting in trouble. That's all my sisters. Don't get in trouble. Don't get in trouble. Don't get in trouble. Every time I went to start a business, oh, don't get in trouble. They, they, they were older sisters trying to protect their little brother. Wrong, per, wrong place to go get advice. They're scared of me being on Facebook. Oh, my God. You, don't you think you're too out there? Hey, man, go back. Go. Well, hey, you ain't my little sister. You ain't my big sister anymore. God damn, dude. Huh? I look like a little brother to you? 